tuning in and for those that don't know me I'm Mrs Moon I'm the director of drama here at Forest School. Uh, for obvious reasons this year house dramas had to take on a very very different form and I'd like to thank everybody that's taken part in Forest School's very first house filmmaking competition. The level of thought, creativity and effort that has gone into producing every single one of these animations is astounding and has truly blown me away. So well done, guys. Um, Forest School is clearly full of dedicated, creative and collaborative students who haven't actually let being in lockdown hinder that creativity at all. Um, every single one of you should be incredibly proud of your achievements. I know I am uh, very, very proud of each and every one of you. Um, after you've watched the films, uh, you will be handed over to Mr. Edward Sleeman. Uh, he is an award-winning TV producer, a former commissioning editor for the BBC, and now the managing director of a TV company, Great Scott Media. So until then, enjoy the films.
Our story begins in one spring morning. In the sheltered confines of a nest, there lies a solitary egg. Oh wow, that's bright. Very bright. Hello, Wool. You are very big. Hello, Sky. You are also very big. And so begins a chick's long journey to freedom. Mom, I'm hungry. I want some food. But our chick is not ready to complete their journey. First, they must grow. As time progresses and the moment of escape draws near, the perils of the journey become clearer. It is now the moment of truth. Will they take the leap to freedom? Or will they fall? It is our last day in the Boer Senegal, our home. We say goodbye to our family. Everyone is crying, but we have to go. We can't live here any longer. Papa is a fisherman, but he said that other countries' boats have been fishing in Senegalese waters, and there's little work left for him. Mama was a seamstress, but no one can pay for new clothes anymore. We're going to go on a journey, Papa says. A long eight day journey. We've heard of others in our town who have gone on this journey. Lots of my school friends have already gone to Europe with their families. 1500 kilometers to Europe. To a better life for me, Mama, Papa, and my baby brother. This is our last chance. We've already been rejected twice for work visas. I don't know what we're going to do if this fails. There are so many people on this boat. Are we all even going to fit? I don't see anyone I know at all. Please God, I just want to be with my family. I don't know if I'm going to make this journey. There isn't enough life jackets to go around for this many people. Hopefully God will help us on this journey and I will be able to see my son one day. There are so many people on this boat. My mother didn't tell me that this would happen. I don't know if the food I'll have will last me. I just want to get to Europe and work, to send some money back to my mother and my brothers. But no one told me the boat would be this crowded, even after all the money that we had to pay. Just hope this journey goes safely. There are so many people on this boat, but they are all willing to pay and I need the money. What if the captain wouldn't let more people in for the money? Pa's holding us tight to him and he tells us that this storm is going to pass quickly. I'm so scared. These waves are so big they could take the boat under. My baby brother is crying because of how cold it is, but Mama is holding him tight. I'm freezing. 
My clothes are soaked from the water in the boat. People are crying and screaming. I'm so scared. Oh God, my poor children. There's so many people on this boat. Surely we will not all make it. I miss Senegal already. My friends and parents. Oh God, I hope they will all be safe without us. I don't know what this new European life will bring. Hopefully we just make it less safe. The storm is not ending. So it can take any more bad weather. I wish I was still at home safe with my family in our own home. Is this journey even worth it? I miss my friends already. It will be. It has to be. These days I feel like weeks and the minutes they feel like hours under this harsh sun with no shelter. And the sun is burning us, the only water we have is that surrounding us. Some people have not made it past this point. Even the young children have stopped crying. Crying takes too much energy and the energy that no one has at this point. I don't know if I'm going to survive this journey. People much younger and much fitter than me have not. Our food is running out and we're days behind schedule because of the damage done to the boat by the storm. But I can't let my family know that my hope is, well, fading. I wonder what our new life will be like. There's little to do on the boat but talk. So we talk about our new life in Europe. Where did you say we were going again, Papa? To Europe, Ada. The Canary Islands. What will life be like there? Will I finally get to go to a real school? Will you still be a fisherman? Will we still be able to talk to Grandma and Papa? Yes, we will go to school there and me and your mother will get work. In Europe, they have many jobs for us to do. We will have a new life, Ada. No more hungry nights and old clothes. A beautiful life. Papa, how much longer will we be on this boat? I'm so hungry and tired. Don't worry, sweetheart. We'll be on our new home soon. And remember, Ada, your name means heroine, which means you can do anything. You can get through these couple of days. You're my superhero. Look, there is a boat coming for us, coming to save us. Last night was the worst night of my life. The sea feels spiky on my skin and my throat is still sore from screaming. Screaming for my mama, my papa, for the boat to save us, for God to save us. We knew this journey would be dangerous, but all of those bodies yesterday my family is safe. That's all that matters. Thank you, God. My family is safe. We are the few that are left. Oh, the horror of last night. We made it. All those years ago, we made it. We were one of the only families that stayed together. There was so many of us in one boat. All of us so different. Some young and some old. But we all just wanted a better life. Freedom from the shackles of our previous one. We all loved our country. And we would have never left, but we had to. The ones that are left will always remember the horrors of that journey. But they soon became a blur to the obstacles we faced in the Canary Islands. In the end, Europe was very different from the stories we were told. We had no money, and we had no home, but we were safe, safer at least, and we are now free to make a new destiny for ourselves.
<sighs> what? Is there more to life than just this? What do you mean? I'm golden. So? I should be having adventures. Why? I'm golden. Please stop saying that. But everyone loves gold things. I don't. Nobody asks for your opinion. What's up with him? He's been stuck on 12 o'clock for over a year. Six months, actually. Do you know what? What? From now on, I'm a glue stick. <laughs> That's all we need. An existential crisis in our midst. What was so bad about being golden? I've been stuck here day in, day out, same repetitive landscape. It's starting to grate. Decent. I'm just wondering about the Golden Cop's decision to turn into a glue stick. How do you think that affects him overall? Well, I think it's a big change for him in terms of his personality. I hope he realises the repercussions there are in this huge choice that he's made. I totally understand what you're saying, Candle. But say, for example, I turned into a washing machine. How do you think that would affect my personality overall? Now just bear with me here. If I turned into a washing machine and nobody put any clothes in me, what if they put hair dries in me instead? Well, I think it would have an absolutely huge impact on the hair dryers. That's only because I don't think they'd come out very clean, if I'm honest. I think we can all agree you wouldn't make a very good washing machine. How is he? You know how it is. Life is like a leaf. Sometimes you're just looking at the wrong side. This is all too much for me. Hey guys! Who are you? I'm the Golden Cup. I'm done with being a glue stick. I'm a deck of cards now. You are so flaky. Deal with it. I want to break free! Ten years of this, ten years in the clink. Now all the screaming just helps me to think. I'm tired and trapped, but when I'm free, I'll brave ocean's depths. Nothing will hold me. Swim to the bottom, and there I will meet earth-shaking monsters, ghosts of sunken fleets that stare with blank eyes, but I will not fear. Not any more than prison all these years. Then a mermaid, with hair like emerald fire, will lead me until we reach a pearl spire. She will take my hand and... Quiet, prisoner. Thinking about your freedom when you're here is a waste of time. But I suppose that the sea is too cold. It will be hard to swim since I'll have grown old. No, instead I'll fly. High with nightingales, taste sugary clouds. When it snows or hails, I'll just laugh because feeling feels so good. Feeling anything, I'm certain it would. Goodbye, nightingales, I'll say when I breach. The bright atmosphere, to the stars I'll reach. Breathe in the stardust. Hear the shining lights. Dance round Saturn's rings, first to no such height. And then a rocket flies by. Let me out, please, let me out. I swear to God, I'll... No. I need realism. It would be a crime to waste my talent and all my short time learning how to fly when I could instead perform on a stage. I'll walk only red carpets, glossy and new. And who knows, will I be a star? Crowds watching my shows. I sing, lightning sparks, I dance, thunderclaps. 
I will leave my marks across the dull globe. Not so dull now, with continents painted. I will not let this world be tainted. The sterile grey of the cage I hate. And when I am free, I'll... You're not free yet. Do me a favour, for God's sake, shut up. It's hard to hope for what I used to know. Still, I long to be where the wild things go. Do you know where the wild things go? They go along and take your honey. Break down our sleep, build up breakfast, now they see my love, my love, love, love. She food is cold, she spots just space on shows, hold her down with soggy clothes and breeze blows. She's more me, queen of my back, see my love, my love. On the day I had just come out of pee and I had gone to touch up my hair and makeup in the Gilded Old Toilets. Then I heard a scream and someone singing a song from outside the building. So I ran outside to see someone dead on the floor. I suspect that it was Theatre Geek because she was supposed to be practicing for house music at the same time. When the murder happened, I was practicing for house music after the betrayal in 2019. I heard a scream sounding like an F sharp. I think it was Chuck, because when I was doing Barnum, he was whispering to Mr. Kane. He definitely seemed suspicious. On the day, man was arm wrestling with one of man's brothers in the Martin Center. Man thinks that it was Mean Gao because she rejected Man and anyone who would do that is obviously off their head.
<laughs> hey, boy. I'm going to call you Dexter. Hey, dog. I'm going to call you Kid. I'm not a dog. You are. But you just called me boy. No, I called you Dexter. Oh, so I'm Dexter the boy. No, you're Dexter the dog. You don't fool me, Kit. I wasn't born yesterday. You were born today. Oh, yeah. Come to think of it, my memory is a bit sketchy. I mean, who am I? Where are we? Where do we come from? Why are we here? What is the meaning of... Look! A door! Oh, oh, oh! The answers to your questions could be on the other side. Let's have a look. Come on, boy. Walkies. I'm not a dog. I know. That's why I called you boy. I've got a feeling we're not in canvas anymore. Whoa, Dexter, what's happened to you? Well, what's happened to you? You've been cubed. Ah, <gasps> what do you mean we've been cubed? When someone stands foot in this world, their body is broken up and put back together in an abstract form. I call it cubism. It's the curse placed upon us by the creator of this world, Pablo Picasso. Oh, I wish I'd never come into this cruel world. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Surely it's not that bad. No, no. I mean, I wish I'd never come into this cruel world. You see, I come from another painting. My creator there was kind. He painted me a wife and kids. I must get back to them. You don't want to be trapped there either. We must escape the way you came. Uh, open the door, Kit. We need to go back. <coughs> ah! <sighs> what, what was that? Where's our painting gone? Maybe we can find our way back through another painting. Ah, oh, we're back to ourselves again. Whoa. This is surreal. It's like we're slowing down and then speeding up. Time here must be fluid. I can't stay a moment longer. If time slows down again, it could take years just to reach the door. Stop! You don't know what's on the other side. Slow! Thanks for your help. Maria, kids, I'm coming back to you. <laughs> Pollocks. How are we ever going to escape if every painting is a trap? There is no escape. I've been trapped here for eternity. Just give up. Life is meaningless. You're being absurd. All right, we get the picture. Come on, Dexter, there's another door. Don't leave me. I like the new threads. This has got to be the best world yet. Life here is one long party. Hey, I, are you seeing this? I'm a boy now. I'm as tall as you. Not for long. As soon as we leave this world, you'll be back to your original self. Who, who said anything about leaving? We can't stay here forever. Why not? We finally found somewhere we like. Why would we ever go home? I don't want to go home. Perfect. I want to go out there. Out where? The real world. This is the real world. No, it's a painting. The real world is out there. Don't say that! <laughs> Dexter, this isn't you! You can't keep me here! We're different people! I'm, I'm free here. Free to be who I want. Out there, I'll just be Dexter the dog. But here, I'm Dexter the boy. I understand. Here you have freedom of expression. But I have to know what's out there. I won't feel free until I've met my maker. Are you my creator? There are many creators, but I am not one of them.
I am the curator. Is this the real world? At a party. Ugh, do us all a favour and turn them down. You're more ridiculous than I thought. It's obviously a joke. I mean, why else would they invite you? Uh, it's not really my kind of thing anyway. Yeah, it probably would have been really stressful. Also, I have some work to do, so... I can't believe you didn't end up trying on that jacket. I could tell you secretly wanted it. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, I'm trying to save up anyways. Shame. It would have looked so nice on you. Whoa. I haven't had strawberry cake in ages. How about a treat after all that walking? Do you really need that? Not in a bad way or anything, but... Um, you go for it. I'm not really feeling like it. Next up, please. Oh, it's back. When was the last time I went? Must have been summer after graduation. Just where do you think you're going? Oh, just like old times. <laughs> Even down to nobody wanting to go with you. Oh, I think I'll head home. Day there. That way you won't get stood up again. It wasn't a good point anyway. We're only trying to help. Hey, wait. Hi. It's been a while since we've met up. You haven't been returning my texts. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah. It's fine, I'm fine. Are you sure? You've been acting kind of off for a while now. Just been tired. You always say you're fine, but you can talk to me. I'm here. I. I can't reach you. Use those. What? Behind you. Left. Keep going, they're letting up. I. <laughs> I did it. Thank you. I only helped a bit. It was you who- Stop! How can you- How can you- How can we trust her? She could turn out just like them. It'll be okay. We won't get anywhere without letting people in. But you can't be sure she won't. No, I- I can't be. All we can do is try. We have no choice but to announce a nationwide lockdown. So, we just stay inside? Yeah. Well, for how long? I don't know. Well, I can do that. Uh-huh. You think you can? Sure. So for the meantime, stay inside and don't. Why does he look like that? What? Introducing Rush, fast connection, no lag, and best of all, you can hide your disgustingly messy house, just like Microsoft Groups, except it actually works. Don't be like those guys, download Rush today.
I get used to this, you know? Yeah. No worries, no responsibilities. Yeah, no troubles, no difficulties, no surprises, no visitors, no events, no changes, nothing out of the ordinary. For how long? I don't know. Huh. It's our most powerful model yet, and it's a convertible. Take a drive through the open country, feel the wind against your face, the new Brixter Model S. It's got to be over soon, right? Huh? Lockdown. I mean, it's been a few months. Brian? Yes? It's March 30th. I can't do this anymore. I need human contact. Uh huh. I need meaningful conversation. No offense. None taken. Hey, you could try that dash thing. Come on, come on. Hello? Don't I know you? It's pastry, not again. Ha ah, ah, ha, hilarious. I thought he was stopping by the We have watched this 17 times. Lockdown will be lifted in most parts of the country. God is real. Ah, never again. <laughs> We're going back into lockdown. <laughs> this pastry, not again. Ha <laughs> ha classic. Apparently, you're allowed to go outside for exercise. Two meter distance still. It's all mine! We have a vaccine! It's finally over! We are free! <laughs> Murphy? Yeah? Can you cough on me? It now. You! I hate it here! It's ugly and gross! I want puppies! Not mold! Ew! Well, we like it. You can change it if you. Oh, wait! <laughs> you wouldn't know how. When you're 73 and lonely, you'll just be glad we're here to keep you company. Anyway, get on with it! Um. Oh, yeah. My friend asked me if I wanted some of her chocolate, and I really love chocolate. It's so yummy. But my mummy doesn't let me have it anymore. She said it's really bad for me. I don't know what to do. That must be really difficult for you. You're so painfully dramatic. Take the chocolate and move on with your life. I think it would be a good idea to listen to your mum. She told me. But if I eat chocolate, then the bugs will eat my tea. Oh, Don't just take, take the chocolate. No! Why does everything have to be so hard? When I was a baby, I just did whatever I wanted to. I would have just taken the chocolate. Why do I have to think so much about it now? Oh! Why did you scratch me? What are you doing inside my head? I don't want you here. My apologies, darling. I'm getting older. Can't really do much about it. Besides, you were desperate for my wisdom. <laughs> and what are you, a bee tackle? That's a hedgehog. Hedgehogs can be wise too. Hear me out. You and your soul are separate from your body and mind. You look different as a baby, didn't you? But you're still the same you, right? Did you even know if you liked chocolate as a baby? You're still the same you, regardless of how much your mind has evolved, though. Right? Yeah. You've just become more aware of your mind. 
Hence why you've been struck with confusion and stress. You are allowing your mind to take control and create problems. You are aware of your mind. The mind is not aware of you. You should have power and control. It is extremely evident that you don't at the moment. Gosh, you've let them you've let them leave this place such a mess. It's just disgusting. It's time to have things your way. That's dumb. No, that's right. You two just make everything worse. From now on, I'll ask for your opinions only when I want them. No, no, you need us. Oh, yeah? Well, you're meant to be the good one, and today I saw you step on chewing gum and then spread it all over the floor, and you didn't even say sorry. Yeah, that's right. I saw you. Whatever. I have the power. I have the control. I can do anything I set my mind to. Now you're the problem. So, I'm about to solve it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to ask Mummy if I can have half the chocolate. Well, problem solved already. I feel so great. I feel so free. Mrs. Moon's told me that she thinks the tuxedo is a little bit much, but I think I've judged it just right, so we will crack on. Uh, first of all, just wanted to say what an honour it was to be asked to judge this competition. I've been truly impressed by uh, the standard of the entries, which has been brilliant, all very, very creative. If your house hasn't won um, an award, don't be disheartened because every single uh, entry was brilliantly creative and you should be br really, really proud of yourself for, for having a go and, and entering. In, uh, in third place um, goes to Jonians for Escape Artists. Um, in second place, Bishop's House, uh, Free From Fear. The winner for the boys is Miller's March to March. Congratulations. So third place goes to Bailey's house for Choose Your Monster. In second place, um, it is Franklin with Where the Wild Things Go. The winner of the girls' houses for the forest film competition is Strings by Kingsley. Um, thank you so much to everyone who entered. I've really enjoyed watching them all. Um, as I say, don't be disheartened if you didn't win because just great to have, to have had a go and, and got involved um, and uh, truly phenomenal work. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.